Retailers across the state say they're optimistic about the 2012 holiday shopping season. With big discounts and aggressive shoppers, chain stores and Black Friday get most of the holiday shopping headlines. But going local is gaining interest, and those local stores love Small Business Saturday. Perfect. Is that going to be it for you? Yes. Perfect. You find everything okay? Oh, yeah. On the car? Cash registers are ringing steadily at many small local stores this week. John Milner okay, of Tree and Leaf back? Clothing says last week's Black Friday kickoff started strong and stayed strong, except for a few hours when Bedlam took a bite out of Small Business Saturday. Typically in past years, we've actually been a little bit slower on Black Friday, busier on Saturday, but I feel like what happened this year is people planning ahead, knowing that in the middle of the day, they've got plans for the football game. Our largest traffic was actually on that Black Friday. We had a very busy Black Friday here, and our Saturday was just fairly consistent. So let me show you this one. This is, this is probably one of the longest running designs we've had. It is our uh, Home Sweet Home design. Tree and Leaf is a graphic design and screen print shop that opened five years ago. Milner says he's seen steady growth every year since. It's hard to grasp whether or not what we're really affected by a down economy or the fact that we were just really starting out. You know, we would be a year or two old at that time when that was happening. So you get, it's hard to gauge that. It's hard to be able to step back and look at that and say, oh, well, you know why we didn't have as strong beginnings because we were in a down economy. Or you step back and say, well, we really didn't factor into the down economy. It's because we were just starting out. Milner feels Tree and Leaf has come a long way from when they first started out in a two-car garage and that Oklahoma is a great place to start a business. But I think we've got a really great climate right now to have small businesses opening. I think really around every corner you're seeing a little business open, a little mom and pop shop doing it. Um, and like I said, we keep a pulse on them because we're a small business. You know, we keep an eye on other businesses that are like ours, and none of them are chains or franchises. You know, they're all local, and they seem to be having the same returns that we do. They just keep saying business is growing, business is growing. Closer to downtown, Tulsa Gift Shop Dwelling Spaces is expanding into the Womb Studios along Oklahoma City's Automobile Alley. We just opened this shop uh, November 16th. So less, I think less than two weeks, and it's kind of gone off with a, a bang, you know, and it's, since it's so new, it's hard to say, is it, is it because it's, we're new? Is it because of the holidays? Is it because of, you know, Small Business Saturday? You know, what, what is, so right now we're just excited, and, you know, being a small business, I know, you know, from experience having a shop in Tulsa, um, there are so many people that want to support small independent businesses. So I feel very uh, fortunate, you know, to, to live in a state where, where you have so much people, so many people like want choosing to go to a small business before they go to the, the big corporations. It's a small space, but they've been doing big business. This time, this time of year, I mean, we, triple, quadruple, you know, your business in the month of December compared to all of the other months. So December for any, any retail, you know, that this is our time of year. And Black Friday was awesome for us. You know, here we've got 350 square feet and it just it blew my mind how you and you look, you think back, you're like, how could you possibly do, you know, that great of business on, on that in this small of a space in that one day. So it's, Something's happening. When it comes to finding something new or unique, Babcock says the first place to look is a small, locally owned shop. Just know those people are working really, really hard to keep these, you know, to keep these creative spaces open. So it's like, just remember, you know, maybe try to stop there before you go to the big, the big shops. And just, you know, at least just pop in and say, you're doing a good job. <laughs> 